Welcome to ClickShare.com. In this video, I'll quickly talk about like operator. If you're coming from SQL Server background, I'm sure you must be familiar with like operator. Like operator is used to compare strings with wildcard characters. The operation returns a Boolean value, which is true or false. So if there is a match, it returns true or minus one. And if there is no match, then it would return false or zero. The basic syntax is you first specify your parent string and then followed by your second string, which contains the wildcard characters. We can use both asterisk or you, some of you might call it star. We can also use the question mark and we can also use uh, question mark as one arbitrary character. So let's look at a simple example of using wildcard matching by using the like operator in ClickView. So I'll quickly jump into the script and show you some data, some Cricket World Cup data, which I've taken from ESPN website. So thanks to ESPN Crick Info website. Let's use the sample data and then let's perform some wildcard searches. Let's use this as a sample data and let's look at an example of using wildcard search. So let me quickly reload this document. And I have some data here and I'm more interested about uh, the description field. Okay. And so I have my description field and description field contains some information, but I'm actually interested in the country. So it shows the player name, the country, and it just shows some text. So if we wanted to only show a chart where uh, we wanted to only pick up players from England, South Africa and Australia, how would I do that? I'm sure there are numerous ways of doing it uh, within ClickView using different functions. But for now, as we are focused uh, on looking at like operators, let's use the like operator and perform this uh, task. So let me click on new sheet object and then let's select chart. And I'll ignore the name, but I'll select the straight table. And let's select description. And uh, this will be a calculated dimension. So I'll edit this. I'm going to use if condition. So if description like and within single quotes, I'm going to type asterisk and then I wanted uh, England players. Again, remember this is not uh, case sensitive. It's case insensitive. So your England can be ENG can be in small letters as well. It would still work. So just to demonstrate that I'll leave it in small letters. If that is true, then like I said that if, if it finds ENG within this particular field, then it will return the true value. So if this value is true, then we wanted uh, to display this as England. And let me close the single quotes. Let me copy this over so that I don't have to type again. And if this is SA, then it's South Africa and copy it again. And if it's AUS, which is Australia. So if I type, so let me type Australia and close the brackets. So I've closed all the brackets and let's click on OK. And let's click on next and we'll perform a simple aggregation. So we'll perform a simple, so we'll use a simple expression, which is sum of uh, uh, runs. Yes, runs. So we're trying to see how many runs each team that is England, Australia, and South Africa have scored in World Cup 2011. So let's click on finish. There we go. So very quickly, we can see the Australians have scored 1342 and English players have scored 1720 and South Africans have scored 3009. So if I select Australia, you will see all the players uh, who who are within the Australian team, which shows up. And then if I select uh, England, obviously it will show all the English players. So like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it returns the Boolean value true. And if that is true, I've tagged it with the country name that is Australia and England and South Africa. And like I said, uh, it's not case sensitive, it's case insensitive. Okay, so let's perform uh, probably one more task uh, 
to show you how to use the question mark to search the arbitrary value one of the missing values so let me click on new sheet object and let's select uh, a text box a simple text box and then i'll say only description like let me pick up probably england players so i'll say eng let it be capital letters this time asterisk and okay so this shows zero right now which means it's false obviously because we haven't selected anything right now however if i go ahead and select uh, shahzad he's an uh, england fast bowler so if i go ahead and select his name so we will see minus one here and if i select someone else probably someone from south africa obviously it is zero because he's, he doesn't belong to england so let's go back and select Shahzad again and let's go back and then I'll show you now let's say that uh, we wanted to search something else and then we wanted to say we'll remove the E character and then we'll add the question mark and uh, we'll also remove the asterisk here asterisk here and then click on OK so you're seeing zero the reason being it is looking for the missing character but obviously there are more letters on the left hand side and the right hand side so we need to include the asterisk sign and then asterisk at the end so it it will show as uh, minus one so even if you remove the asterisk at the end you will see it as zero yeah so i hope this makes sense i mean it's pretty straightforward uh, you can look up more information on wildcard search and uh, there is simple documentation on wikipedia so you can look at that stuff i hope this was helpful thank you for watching have a good day